Good morning, everyone. It's me, and I'm here in Las Vegas at the CES show, Consumer Electronics, and I'm here to launch my audio smart sunglasses called Idolize. Look at these. You can play your favorite playlist, listen to your favorite podcasts, you can accept your own personal phone calls, and the quality of the audio is impeccable. I'm so excited to be here and for everyone to try Idolize. Good morning, everybody. We're morning. here in Las Vegas at the Consumer Electronics Show. I'm very excited because I'm launching my new audio fashion sunglasses called Idolize. We're excited. Very much. I'm more excited. <laughs> I feel like it's just really it's just really fucked up like you get what I'm saying like I worked so hard on this y'all see me working on this no I didn't have like some big supporters I didn't do the commercial yet or whatever but we working you get what I'm saying we working towards everything it's starting off small I had high hopes for this business all of that and like to just wake up and see that like bro that's crazy that's crazy you took my down to the look of my frames like down to the cat eye that i speak so highly on like y'all know how long i've been pushing kill frames like this is crazy bro i see this happen all the time to us but i never thought like for real for it to be me like you get what i'm saying like nobody was thinking about that audio frames who was thinking about that like you get what i'm saying who was thinking about that design i wear cat eyes all the time like i just i'm in disbelief i'm in shock I'm crying. I'm mad. I'm I'm real mad. Like this shit is fucked up. <laughs> to further explain this, fame cast. I took my idea, I took my frames, I took my design, my cat eye design to Famecast. They created it for me. They're audio Bluetooth frames. You can listen to your music, you can have a, you can take a phone call from your from your lenses, from your frames. Created that, dropped it. They then went behind my back and had Paula to now push it as her own and change the name of my frames. It's bad business. I don't care how y'all feel about me or what y'all saying about me. Oh, there's she, there's a million one, there's not. There's not a million one audio Bluetooth glasses. And if they are, those were the ones that I created. That cat eye look is what I created. And yes, I'm lit. And to all the ignorant people in the back, just like making it like, oh, she didn't. Yes, I did. And I have all the, I have patent, my name, my lens, my shape, my style. Okay, two already. Two? Mm -hmm. Oh, my device is connected. To further explain this. The company, Famecast, that I was doing business with, I gave them the model, I gave them the idea, the design, cat eye, that I wanted to do, that I wanted to push. We music, you can have it, you can take a phone call from your, from your lenses, from your frames. Created that, dropped it. They then went behind my back and had Paula to now push it as her own and change the name of my frames. It's bad. And to all the ignorant people in the back, just like making it like, oh, did she didn't, yes, I did. And I have all the, I have patent, my name, my lens, my shape, my style. Jamming. Hinchel, what you doing? I see you jamming. What I'm jamming. Fuck? These glasses play music. Oh, shit. You know what's the best part, though? What? When I'm talking on the phone and driving. Oh, you could talk on the phone? Hell music? yeah. Oh, shit. I got to get these ASAP. Wait do you hear what Tommy Lee said on Instagram. I played the videos at the beginning. Now I got to read to you what they said. I'm going to read to you what Paula Abdul said first. Please click thumbs up while you're listening. Subscribe and choose all notifications for more Meat Magazine. Paula Abdul said, I'm here in Las Vegas at CE 2023, launching my latest venture, Idle Eyes, star emoji. And she mentioned her makeup and hair and styling. I said, Tommy Lee said this idea was stolen from her brand, Kilt Frames. This is crazy. Anyway, love you, Paula Abdul. She also posted a video on her Instagram stories where she thanked the fans. And she said, thank you to those who joined today's live, referring to Instagram live. Thank you to those who joined today's live announcement, introducing Idle Eyes, available at paulaabdul.com. Tap to shop now. So they're already on sale. And she said, hashtag paid partnership with one of one custom. So I guess that's the company she's working with. Tommy Lee responded to a tweet that John Cohen at Cohen HD posted on Twitter. It said, 
Hashtag CS2023 Media Day is in full swing. Just got a chance to hear from the lovely and talented Paula Abdul. These new glasses look like a cool blend of hashtag fashion and hashtag tech. Tommy Lee says, I'm so upset y'all witnessed me in the field for years creating these frames. Y'all have seen firsthand all of the work I put into kilt frames. For this woman to steal my entire idea down to the look and everything is disgusting. This always happens to us. I honestly can't believe this. I'm discouraged and heartbroken. I have no words, man. I didn't have the biggest support system or people to really help me push my brand to the fullest, but it's still mine, and I created this. It's not fear. It really makes me want to say F it and go back to the old me. Oh, Lord, please don't do that. Please, no. And this little black girl has big lawyers. It's a shame how me, as a female African-American creative, can create the cat eye audio glasses and see that at Paula Abdul, she added her so she could see it. <laughs> has stolen my design and is now selling them. Once again, another black creative getting their work stolen by the white community. This really hurts me because I spent a lot of time developing these glasses. I created this look with that fan cast as in the whole design. I pushed my brand with my own money, no help. They then went behind my back and had Paula change the name to whatever she calls hers. And they're now trying to give me a percentage of her sales. Are you dumb? Never am I going to get played like this. There's no amount of money you can pay me after doing shady business. I could never trust them. It's just wrong and illegal. This type of stuff is done to creators all of the time and has now happened to me. But I'll see to it that I'm fully compensated for this injustice. Another one of my crushes, Betty Idol from Love & Hip Hop says, Wow, that's crazy. They stole your whole idea. This is so wrong on all levels. Babe, you need to sue them. Tommy Lee posted a video clip from a Hollywood Unlocked interview video where she name dropped Kilt Frames, her brand, six years ago all the way back in like 2016 2017 remember i said that because i got more on that there's another video that you have to watch that i'm going to post after this one i'm going to talk about it after i read this message somebody sent her a message and it says what's good sis this tahan i talked to ma and yanni i think this is her brother just want to tell you to fight that shit you've been through too much and i made it too far to go out like that chin up my ninja i ain't never seen shit stop you from getting where you want to be I love you sister. Too many mofos love you genuinely cause you're dope as F. I don't know all of the details and facts, but I know that shit won't break you. And she said, thanks brother, I love you. And she threw up the heart hands emoji and it says, at high end finesse, hashtag free you. If you made it this long, this is the end of the video. The secret password to say in the comment section to let me know you made it until the end of the video is, if you're on Paula's side, say Paula's side. If you're on Tommy's side, say Tommy's side. If you're on nobody's side, say nobody's side. If you're on my side, say Meat Magazine side. Or you might want to say your side, whoever side you're on, okay? Because I need to know whose side you're on. I need to know where everybody stands up in this, okay? Maybe you're on everybody's side. Maybe you're on nobody's side. Whoever side you're on, that's secret best. Here's the thing, though, before I go. I have irrefutable proof that Tommy Lee was talking about kilt frames all the way back in at least December of 2016. Because I had made videos about it. And I'm going to show you the proof in a separate video. When that video was finally posted, which should be in a couple hours or so, I'm going to post a link to it and pin it at the top of the comment section. Also, I'm also going to post it in the description box. So make sure you check it out. Before you go, please click thumbs up. It helps with the engagement where people see the video. If you post thumbs up or leave a comment, even if you're just saying hi, I'm going to respond to everybody. I want to know what everybody's thoughts about this is. This is a very important topic. We're talking about, you know, people's trademarks allegedly being infringed upon. And Famecast, as well as Jack Entertainment PR, which is, I guess, public relations, they responded to this. So that's going to be a whole nother video where I read those responses. <laughs> Jack Entertainment PR said that Paul Abdul has never seen nor heard of or has any idea who Tommy Lee is. So this is getting interesting. They need to do a celebrity boxing. I'm just kidding. I'm just totally kidding. Sorry, Paula. I shouldn't have said that. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about it below. Please click thumbs up, subscribe and choose all notifications. Need to know what you guys think about it in the comment section because you're more important than me. And yeah, all right, y'all. Stay tuned. I have a ton of videos that I'm going to be posting today, January 5th of 2023. You're not going to want to miss it. You're going to be in shock when you see what I post. That's all I'm going to tell you. That's your only warning that I'm going to post some really interesting stuff today, as well as tomorrow, the 6th, January 6th, actually for the rest of the month. All of January 2023, starting from the 5th to the, to the 31st, I'm going to be posting multiple videos every day, and you're going to be shocked. If you're ready to watch the video, say here for it in the comment section. That'll let me know that, that me and you are seeing eye to eye. Oh, and stay tuned for the proof video that I'm going to be posting a link to on this video. So you might want to come back to this video, the final link, if you don't see it pop up in your notifications. There, you know. Anyways, because I'm going to prove to you. 
that she had people in China and factories making her sunglasses back in 2016. No crap. Her favorite sunglasses design is that cat eye. I'm going to show you that because I have some of that from 2018. Remember, Tommy Lee is my baby mom's. I got all the info.